welcome back to another fishing video my name's rob and i'm one of the parker baits ambassadors and today you join me at linear fisheries i'm fishing at oxley's lake um it's only going to be a quick 24 hour well it's not even 24 hours to be fair it's about 18 hours now it's quite late in the evening um and yeah it's going to be a quick overnight for me for this one it's not something i normally do i normally do quite long periods of sessions normally three nights but tonight's just going to be a quick short one and i'm going to bring you along my journey hopefully i can nick a fish tonight i'm going to go with fishing two on the bottom and one on the zig so we're going to see how that goes but i've got everything down on my swim now and I'm going to get everything set up get the rods out get the bivy and everything set up and i'll get back to you once all that's done see you in a bit Right, well where do I start? So, um, got the marker rods out, put a lead on it, and made a couple of casts. I clipped up the 22, which is my maximum for fishing in this peg, and just a couple of casts. All I needed was three casts. It's pretty uniform out there. It's a pretty much silt all around, and bits of gravel uh, you will find out there. But, yeah, 17 wraps I've gone with. Nice and comfortable, easy fishing. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd give myself an easy night, but, um, yeah, so I've gone three rods on the spot tonight. I was going to go two on the bottom and one on zig, but I've spoke to left and right and they've had fish off the bottom. So I thought I'm only here for 24 hours. I might as well go with what is catching fish at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I've got three rods out on the, on the spot. I've got one with a yellow magic bean with a Medusa, uh, Medusa style maggots on top. I've got one orange magic bean, which has just gone out as it is out the tub. And I've also got one which is fishing a uh, hardened hooker topped off with a bit of uh, fake pink corn. Uh, so that's the three, I thought I'd go three different, complete different rigs, uh, not rigs, sorry, hook baits. And yeah, see what the fish are fancying. So for now, I've managed to get three rods on the spot and the heavens let loose and it started raining. So I had to quickly get everything in the bivy that I didn't have in the bivy already, just so I didn't get anything wet. And yeah, once this rain calms down now a little bit, probably gonna stick another 10 spots out, maybe 12 to make it up to about 15 spawns. And then what I'll do then later on tonight, I'll stick another five spots out if I've not had anything. And yeah, hopefully tonight, it's only a short session, like I say, I think I'm only here for about 16 hours. And hopefully I can just get, you know, I, I, just one fish will make me happy. So for now, I'm gonna let you be. I'm gonna get a few more spots out, tidy up the bivy a little bit because it's an absolute mess and I'll catch you lot in a bit. Uh, there we go, the rain has stopped, the skies have cleared up a bit, it didn't last long, it's only about 15 minutes, but it is nice again. I just got another about 12 to maybe 15 spawns out on the spot and that will be me for now until later on this evening before I go to bed. I'll just top it up with another five, but I am fishing. You've got the big tree there in the background and then you've got the little tree then just to the side of it. You can kind of just pick up the horizon marker there. But I'm fishing three rods on a spot out there, 17 wraps. And yeah, it's looking good for a bite. For anyone that wants to know, I am fishing in peg 26, I think, which um, I think it was either Josh or Dean, which a video you would have seen by now on our Parker Bates um, Oxley social, where these two lads were in these swims and they had a fair few fish between them um, so yeah it's looking good fingers crossed hopefully just hopefully we can get a nosser in the net I'll see you in a bit one thing I just wanted to touch on is look at the size of this swim one thing I've noticed about Oxley's is a lot of the swims here they are really really big which is, you know, if you've come down here with a mate and you want to come down fishing with somebody, but you can't get two swims next to each other, it's good to know that on Oxley there's quite a few big swims like this where, you know, you could double up with each other and still get enough space to get both your bivvies up and both your rods and enough water in front of you to still be able to fish without wiping each other out. But, yeah, what an evening. Look at that. And... Should we have a little look at this, shall we? Got my extra large bottle of flat spot down there. <laughs> and some of the OG fish sauce. 
can't leave without it. But yeah, so we got a mix. So in here, if I get that to focus, we've got a bit of sweet corn in there, some hemp, but the OG fish pellets. I've done the 14 mil fish and the 18 mil fish in halves. And then yeah, just soaked in the flat spot and the fish sauce. Good old linear mix. I mean, you can't go wrong with adding a bit of sweet corn and hemp just to bulk out the mix. And then of course, adding the one and only OG fish and OG fruit and nut boilies to the mix to make it finalized. But yeah, fingers crossed for the evening now. So hopefully, you know, just one fish, one fish, not much, I'm not asking for much, but just one fish to save that blank and I can go home, one happy man. So it's lights starting to fade now, it's about quarter to seven now and starting to feel a little bit peckish so I thought I would treat myself so got a pack of six sausage rolls down there which I've just nicked one now and you would have seen these bad boys before and I know you would have because I know me and Ben both love these um, I'm normally a teriyaki guy myself and Ben being Ben he loves his chilli ones but my girlfriend likes these ones too and I tried a little bit of hers last week and it's quite nice to be fair I'm a bit of a girl when it comes to spice I don't handle it well, but these, they're bearable for me, so I went and treated myself to one of these. So I'm gonna have that, my sausage roll. Keep looking out there to the lovely view that I've got of the lake at the moment. It's nice, flat, calm. There's been a couple of uh, fish showing. I was on the phone to Steve earlier, and I've seen two fish show all day, and I've rung Steve to have a little chat with him, and I looked at the time. Three minutes I was on the phone to him, and three shows I've seen. So I acted to that and moved a solid bag to the show and fish because they were all three of them were in the same sort of area. It was a bit past my spot but I thought I'm not here for long so I've got to make the most of what I see and react to it. So that's it for now. Kettle's boiling down there. I'm gonna cook my soba, eat my sausage roll. Oh there we go, that's the chili soba all cooked, ready to eat. And that is my dinner for tonight, I think. Unless I get a bit snackish later, I've got some other bits in the bag and some goodies. Treated myself for this session. But, yes, that is me now. Rods are out. Bait is out. I'm in my bivvy happy. I'm going to sit back and relax for a bit now. I'm going to probably stick a few videos on my phone. And just chill out for a couple of hours. And then I'll get some more bait out this evening. And hopefully that will maybe, just maybe, bring us a fish. So for now, until them alarms go off, this might, just might be the last time you see me now till the morning. But hopefully I'll be making a few appearances with a few 30s in the net. Because you can only wish, you can only be hopeful. Left hand rod went screaming off. And we've got our first Oxley's linear carp in the net so i'm gonna put the camera down now get all myself set up set up set up hopefully get this banger out for you well there we go first one for me and the blank saver so i'm happy this one going to 24 7. yellow magic bean topped off with maggots the only rig out there like it that's the one that's done the bite just put another five spots out now hopefully just hopefully I can bring another one before I gotta be off in the morning it's about half twelve at night now gotta be off at nine o'clock tomorrow morning yeah very very happy to say the least and go home now a happy man fingers crossed for just one more quickly turn around show you the other side I'll get this fish back because it's cold, it's freezing. <laughs> but there we go, there's the other side. It's got like a broken rib on this side. But still, nevertheless, it's a nice 24 pound Oxley's carb and a blank saver, like I say. So, over the moon, now it's time to try and get another one.
before the end of the session. I'm going to stay up now for the next two hours. A couple spots in, just keep trickling the bait in. Hopefully, just hopefully I can work myself and get myself another one in the net. Hopefully next time, a bit bigger than this one. Come on. Well, there we go. That's the fish now back. So it was a 24-7, I think I said it was. And yeah, it was quite a nice fish. The one one side was quite a nice looking fish. The other side had a broken rib on its side. Um, but yeah, yellow magic bean topped off with maggots was the one that did that bite for me. So now I've brought one of my other rods in, which I accidentally took out whilst bringing the fish in and put that onto a yellow magic bean with maggots as well. So I've got two rods out with that now and the other one being a hardened hooker with pink corn which I'm going to leave now till the morning but got the fish, did a bit of video, got my photos put the rods back out, put the spots, a couple more spots back out and it's been about half an hour since then so I'm going to give it another half an hour put another five spots out and then try and get some more sleep again I'm going to get up then about probably about seven o'clock and yeah just watch the water have a cup of coffee i gotta be off by nine so seven o'clock gives me a couple of hours just to wake up sort myself out even maybe chuck a couple few more spots out before i go just to try and you know get somebody's head down and hopefully just hopefully i can get another fish for you i mean whatever happens now i'm going to be happy uh but if i can get a 30 i've never had a 30 from oxley's but if i can get a 30 pounder i'll be very very happy so for now, I'm going to let you lot be. I'm going to get back into my bed because it's pretty cold. And yes, hopefully, if I don't see you before the morning, I'm going to see you with a 30 pound or if not a 40, but I'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning. That might just show you how cold it is. I've had to put my puffer jacket on. It's freezing, it's foggy. Uh, I can probably see about 20 yards in front of my swim. It is really bad out there at the moment. I can't see anything to, to the point where I can't see the other side of the bank, so I can't see my horizon marker. So I can't put no more bait out. So now it's just going to be a sit on the rods, wait for it, and hope for the best that I can just nick one more before the end of my session, which isn't long. It is now currently. 24 minutes past seven and I've got to be off by nine o'clock so I've probably got an hour maximum with the rods left in the water but in the meantime I'm just going to start getting stuff packed down get the bivvy down and uh, yeah get everything away so it's just the rods that I've got to do at half eight but I've enjoyed this session it might have only been a quick short session but we managed to land one we got a fish the yellow magic beans topped off a maggot was the one that done it for us this session and yeah i'm happy i'm very happy but i'm gonna let you be for now i'm gonna get some of this stuff away some of the stuff packed away as we say and then i'm gonna touch base with you just before i finish my session so for now i'll let you be and i'll probably turn this camera around in a second just so you can see how bad this fog is should we, should we show you Let's have a little look. And I mean, there we go. I don't know what you can see out there, but that is not a lot. It is normally you'd be able to see the other side of the bank over there clear as day, but you cannot see anything, so that means me I am not putting no bait out, but we're still in the chance for a fish because the three rods are still out. But for now I'm gonna let you be and I'll touch base with you in a bit. Well, the fog is slowly starting to clear up. Don't know if you can see just in the bottom of the screen there, but yeah, that's right. I got some good old bacon cooking over there. I'm gonna have some bacon and egg sandwiches before I go. Just fuel myself up before the drive home. And then, of course, we cannot forget the one and only Rhinocopig Cup Parker Bates with a caramel latte, wouldn't be anything else in there. Mine and Ben special, but yeah. Successful trip, one fish, 
and ask for much more. Well, I could, could ask for another one, but it didn't happen. But <laughs> yeah, we got one. We're leaving with a fish. I'm happy. So yeah, I'm gonna touch base. Once this bad boy is all in a sandwich, and I'll see you in a bit. Question is, what are you? Are you a ketchup guy like me? Or are you like my good friend Lukey who likes his daddy's sauce? Can't do brown sauce me personally, but ketchup is the way forward for me. But I know my good friend Lukey, he loves his daddy sauce him, so but yeah. Looking forward to having this. I've got about a half hour now left of the rods in the water. So I'll have this, chill out for ten, and then reel the rods in. Get everything in the van and time for me to go home ready for the lake exclusive that has it for the weekend and from my experience last night whoever's fishing from 26 up towards the shallows they should have a good few fish because they were going mad up there last night boshing everywhere but just not in my reach but everyone is in a swim to my right so yeah looking good for a few fish this weekend whoever does have the lake exclusive but for now, I'm going to eat my bacon and egg sandwich, get the rods in after that, and then time for me to go home. But I will touch base with you just before that, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, there we go. That is my session here at Linear Fisheries to a wrap. It's been a good quick session for me. It's been a short session. It's not something I do often. I'm normally here for a couple of nights, but this one only been a short one, but a successful short session. Managed to land one, a 24-7, going home, a happy man. What more can you ask for? The fog's all cleared up now, but it has started to rain. So I'm just gonna get the last bits packed in the van and get on my way so I don't get too wet. But if you have liked this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Get down in the comments. Let me know what else you would like to see me fish at Linear. You know, this one being on Oxleys, if you want to see me fish Hardwick, B1, B2, St. John's, Manor Farm, any of them, the Nutar Farm lakes even, let me know, get down in the comments and I will do my best to get on them lakes for you. But for now, until next time, peace out.